Well, tonight, state leaders and food source advocates are joining forces to help both small grocery store owners and customers save money. According to the Consumer Price Index, grocery prices have risen 25% over the past four years. That has caused small grocers to increase prices, consolidate, or even close their doors. Meanwhile, families in Connecticut are struggling to put food on the table. So today, state leaders say they are working with federal leaders to stop inflation in its tracks. Working families are being squeezed from both sides, cutting back everywhere in order to pay for essentials. But it's time for government to act at every level to rein in the habitual price gouging from massive corporations. Now, leaders say they want to put a cap on how much big companies can raise their prices in a certain time, but there are no concrete plans for that yet. Last summer, the House passed the Lower Food and Fuel Costs Act, but it never received a vote in the Senate.